All right, when finding the domain, uh, when looking for a graph, uh, you had one question that says find the domain of G over F. So let's just practice first finding the domain of F and the domain of G. So whenever you involve two functions, you can only use the intersection, like what's included in both. But let's say they just asked for the domain of F. So let's make sure you understand that first. The domain of F is this line right here, and remember domain is your X values. So from right here, I can see it's three to, what is that, 12. These are filled in points, so it includes three to 12. So if I was asking for the domain of F, it would be three to 12. That's the domain of F. <clears throat> now, let me just say, if this was an open point right here, instead of a closed point, it would be a parenthesis. The parenthesis tells you that you can use everything up to really, really close to three, but just not three. But these are all closed, so we're good. Okay, so then the domain of G, and I'm gonna be lazy right here and just do my little tick marks. Look at G, G is this green line. G starts right here. Let me see if I can clear that up just a little bit. G is right here at two, and it goes all the way to 11. So my domain of G is two to 11. And again, those are closed points. Now here's the problem. I only want to use the intersection. So I'm doing this, G over F. So I know I'm only going to go what they have in common, which is from here to here, okay? So you would think I would go from three to 11, okay? So you would think for, what is this, G over F, I would go from three to 11. Now that's all really good, except for right here. Do you see how F hits zero? And you can't have zero in the denominator. So what I've gotta do is I've gotta skip over the point four. I cannot use four, because realize that is the point for zero. So when X is four, Y is zero. I can't have a zero down here. So be real careful if there's anything that hits the x-axis because that is your zero. So I'm gonna use this, but I'm gonna skip over four. So what that's gonna look like is I'm gonna start at three. I can use three. I'm gonna get to four. I can't use four, so I'm gonna use a parenthesis. That tells me I can get really, really close to four, like 3.999999, just can't use four. So whenever you need to skip over a number, it looks like this. So I can use everything really close to four on the other side, and then I'm gonna go to 11. So this would be the domain of G over F, and that's it.